What's up guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I wanted to go over something extremely useful for you when tracking your Google AdWords campaigns and your ads uh, if you're using Click Magic. So as we've done in the previous video, we've installed some conversions and conversion pixels um, and we were able to track everything on Google AdWords. However, if you have multiple campaigns, <clears throat> if you have you know, Google AdWords, you have Bing, which we'll go over, Facebook, which we'll go over, email sequences, which we've done with GetResponse. If you have all that and you want to track everything in one place, I would say ClickMagic is the way to go. It's very convenient and it offers some extremely, extremely useful data. So let me show you what I mean by tracking with ClickMagic. So here's our Google Ads. Now, when you click on the ad, as you can see, there are actually two spots to place your URL. There is this destination URL at the very top, which specifies where people go to. And then, well, actually, here's what it's going to look like for you. So you would have to click this little plus under add URL options advanced, click on it. And then as you can see, we'll delete that. There should be a little spot for tracking template. It should be empty for you. There should be nothing there. So actually, you need to put your tracking template, your tracking code here this tracking uh, URL, you do need to actually put that here. If you put it here, it will not work. You will not see clicks, at least not for me. When I did that, I was thinking, hey, what's going on? How come I'm not seeing any clicks, any unique clicks? This is why. So you must, if you're using ClickMagic, you must put your destination URL here and your tracking link here, okay? So we have to do that. So here's, two reasons why this is useful for you. First of all, your ad, your your clicks on ClickMagic simply won't show if you don't. So that's that's that should be reason enough. Second of all, you actually have some really cool additions, sub IDs you can add at the end of your tracking link here, which will allow you to see exactly which keywords, which campaign, which match type automatically on your ClickMagic based on where and what uh, keyword people choose to click on, you will see that in Click Magic. And let me show you how you can do that. So first of all, let's start off by just putting in our tracking link here. So I'll put in our tracking template here and I can click test. And as you can see here, it says landing page found, we're good to go, okay? Uh, so I mean, that should roughly do it. But as you saw in our video on determining traffic sources, we may want to know where our traffic is coming from, right? Um, so let me take it to a really cool page here. So on, on Click Magic, if you go into your FAQ, type in tracking PPC Google and go on this first, go on this first link. I'm going to put the title of this search at the bottom. So if anything changes, you can always go back to the title but it's called, how do I track my pay-per-click keywords? And look at this. If you go to this article, <clears throat> they give you a variety of different kind of tokens that you can put in. And the way this works is if you put this as a sub ID right after your tracking link, it will tell you exactly this information. So it will tell you, for example, what ad group did your click result from or what device did your click result from okay so the one i find most beneficial for me and right disregard this that's for being ignore that just uh use these guys so the ones i found most beneficial for me were keyword just to see what keyword is the most effective so what we can do again as you saw in our previous video we can put in up to five sub ids but i do strongly recommend you only do up to two because your click um magic let me just show you, we'll only track we'll, or we'll only show two on the main screen and then you need to go and download a report and it just gets things messier. So if I go here, for example, I've done a, a sample here to show you, as you can see, there's two sub IDs. OK, so I would say limit yourself to just two sub IDs. So here's what we can do. If you want to see the exact keyword that people put in and resulted in X action or engagement or whatever it is, we need to put that at the end. So let's go here and let's type in slash. Uh, so we, we need to put in those little, let me see what they did. Uh, what do you call the brace brackets? Just like over here, you see these little brace brackets. So we need to put that here. And let's say keyword. 
Okay, and this is the benefit of actually using a tracking template as opposed to just putting everything in your destination URL because you can do things like that. And now if you click test, it should still work. And now what's going to happen is over here, <clears throat> over here when you, sorry, uh, over here when someone, when, when you have your keywords and someone clicks on your ad by typing in that keyword, that keyword will show up here and it will tell you one total click, one unique click, and any possible actions or engagements or sales based on the tracking pixels that you've input. So this is some extremely useful information because this is how you optimize your ads. You see which keywords are working for you and which keywords aren't. And the keywords that are generating for you the most, whatever it is you're tracking, actions or engagements or sales, that is the keyword you want to maximize and remove the ones that have 10,000 clicks and zero sales or zero engagements, whatever it is you're tracking, you'd want to remove those. So this provides you some extremely valuable information. So what that's going to do is that's going to tell you what people typed in. If there is multiple words, it's just going to say how plus two plus eight plus now. Um, I didn't do it here because I don't want to wake up my campaign again. I'm going to get a crap load of clicks and... Um, <clears throat> You know, our, 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 the, the point of this video is not to, to get, uh, to make money selling my product, right? So that's what it's going to show. It will literally tell you here <clears throat> what keywords people put in. Now, again, if you want to use any additional tokens, you can. Two things to keep in mind. One is, again, the maximum you can use is five sub IDs. So option one is you can create, uh, create slashes after this. So let's go back here. Let's go back to our ad. So you can put keyword slash, you know, ad group ID slash creative slash device. That's option one. You can do that up to five times. And that's going to show you <clears throat> when you download the report, that will show you exactly whatever it says here. So the ad group, where the click came from, the campaign, the ID, whatever. Okay. Alternatively, if you don't want to do this, by the way, you can just simply write your stuff yourself, right? So you can just say, you know, I know that I'm working on this ad and I know that this ad is an ad group one. So I could say maybe ad group one and then add two, whatever, right? I can do that or I can just use whatever they gave for me. But as you can see here, I used a little dash to differentiate the two. And this is actually option two. So like I said, the maximum tokens you can use is five or sub IDs, but in this case, what you could do is instead of using a slash, you could use a dash. So you can say keyword dash and then whatever it says here. So add group ID, for example, let's copy that. And what that's going to do is that's just going to automatically tell you what ad group, there you go. Uh, that's going to tell you what keyword and then what ad group it came from. Now, obviously you don't want a page that's gonna you know look too ugly. So I would, I would say maybe pick the most two that are important for you. Like, I don't think, you know, things like that may be too important, especially if you're, for example, putting the bid down for mobile devices or whatnot. But I would still um, recommend using at least keywords, at least keywords. And what I personally do with my, like for this ad group, I don't do that. I just say C for campaign. So C1 dash AG ad group two dash um add three and that's how i know where that came word keep uh, came from it came from that particular segment right so instead of using you know these ones i just put kind of all these three together but that's up to you okay so that's why this is incredibly useful use it to your advantage again i will send you what to type in and i'll send you the link as well down below in the description if you can access it great if not just type in in the faq how to track paperclip keywords extremely useful uh one more thing i wanted to say yeah, so that, that's everything that's available. Yes, one more thing. Um, as you recall in the video where I showed you how you can scroll to any particular web page, in your tracking URL, if you want your page to go to any particular place, you would have to put the scroll section in your tracking link. So you would have to say dash um, or slash, and then you know say section 221, whatever. This is how, this is where you would put that scroll to. Uh, don't worry about it too much for now. I will go over this in more detail in uh, this, this um, lesson where we go over ad extensions. But keep in mind, 
basically what, I, what what I'm trying to tell you is based on that video that you saw, don't put your uh, section ID here in the destination URL, put it in your tracking URL. It will still work. It will still track and it will still take people to the right place. Okay. So that's about it for this video. In the next video, I think I'll go over <clears throat> ad extensions with you, what they are, how you can use them, what they look like and what every single one of those means and how you can use them to your advantage. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments or concerns, leave them down below. Please subscribe if you have already subscribed. Thank you. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.